so it may kaiki thinks we are dummies right when i listened to his first interview with tvc i just felt something was off it seemed like a situation where he was actually trying to express himself and express his art letting us know what it went through um, in the past as regards his relationship i looked through that interview and the first thing that i realized was that the interview was not even about his marriage or divorce the interview was about malaika the movie he shot with tony abraham and he was asked a question a simple question where have you been and he just went ahead and started talking about his marriage his past and everything that had happened in the years past there was no cause for him to have gone as far as spilling all the information he spilled I also noticed that there were a lot of half-truths and the things that he said. I also watched his ex-wife's interview and this is my opinion. The woman actually did go through those things she said. But there is still a part of that story that is not being told. Especially when it came to the properties that Emeka Ike claimed that his wife had taken from him. The wife actually did not really shed much light as regards that. I'm not sure why it could be because she wants to like keep some information to herself, which she's allowed to after all. She doesn't hold us any explanation. But because they have brought this issue forth to the public, we sure will share our opinion. If I am to talk on the body language of both parties in this case, because truth be told, we really cannot say who is lying and who is not. We don't have access to the court documents that they presented in court or the evidences they presented in court when they had their divorce. So we really cannot state whose claim is more concrete or whose is not. We can only work with the facts that they have brought before the court of social media. It is my humble opinion that the ex-wife's narration of what transpired is more plausible. Emika Ike claimed that she seized and sold almost all of the properties that he was able to garner at that time. Well, he claimed also that she sold off or closed off a school, a thriving school, where he actually invested 450 million naira. I don't think that is true. There's something fishy. There is something fishy that he needs to explain. The wife has said that they didn't spend as much as 450 million naira. I really cannot say to that, but I know that that story has a loophole. Emeka Ike is one person that we looked up to while we were growing. And he, he was one of those early artists who we used to admire on the screen. And we expect that he should know better. I feel like he's trying to revive his career and he is looking for any way possible to make that happen because there was no need for all this drama. There was no need for him to have brought this issue at all. He's either trying to spite his ex-wife or he is trying to use the situation as a way to be relevant. This is quite common between celebrities, so I'm not surprised. Follow me on Random Thoughts with D, or you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, D's Impressions.